Tristan is moving extremely fast still in this ring. I haven't seen people do that before. Be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, it's not very often we get a traffic jam and when we're sealing the ring, so. Uh... That was definitely a purposeful ring seal. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've, anyone's, I've ever seen it go that slow and that fast at the same time. Another one of those fighters with a big set of wheels on him. He's got some decent sized legs, so. But you know, range is gonna be a real issue in this fight. Tristan's very experienced too, very clean style. Knows how to use his range. Knows how to set up his short weapons. Yeah, whereas Kimo generally isn't a, um, a uh, traditional Muay Thai stylist. He's a, he's a striker that fights Muay Thai. You know, not, not that you can't be successful like that, but we will see a real clash of styles here. Yeah, there's definitely a more chance of success when you pack the power that Timo packs. Yeah, that's right. Big shin clash to start off. Big reaction to that leg kick, surprised by that. Yeah, I think he went to catch it low and then kind of realized it wasn't where he expected it to be. Now, Kimo will switch stance through this whole fight. He won't be able to help himself. Looks like Tristan's trying to attack the outside of that right leg. It's like four of them, he's going to the same spot. That was a kick as he landed. I was on the edge of the rules. There's, uh, there's been a lot of famous coaches that have always said kick them on the way down, as long as they're not all the way down. Really good footwork from both these boys, especially the taller man. Uh, Kimo just got a right hand over the top there that, that hurt. Tristan doesn't seem to be uh, phased by the constant switching of stance either. No, I'd say that Tristan's enjoying him switching stances. Not too much happening in that clinch. I like to see Kimo use his hands more. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's Kimo's sort of key to victory there. It'd be to outbox. That leg kick really hurt him on that right leg then. Oh. Tristan's throwing some excellent long range shots here. Good check. He needed to, that back leg is sore. He's carrying his hands really low tonight, Kimo. I don't know if I've ever remembered him carrying his hands this low for a fight. Looks like Tristan's in a hurry here. 
Yeah, a bit of confusion there with how long the break between rounds was, but we're back into it. I don't think the um, the blue corner was very confused on how long they had, but oh, this this dog fight's probably Kimo's best chance in this fight. That leg's given out on him though. Yeah, the right leg's done. It's funny because it's always that back leg that's not used to getting hit. Tristan's starting to really turn this on now. Yeah, Tristan's lighting him up everywhere. Finally hit him on that right leg. I oh, don't. No. I don't think he gets up. I don't like this. This is just going to end anyway. This is over. Really well done to Tristan there. It's all over in both rounds and scored multiple ways, multiple ranges. Looks like he had a good time. I feel bad for Chemo. Hopefully he's not injured. Number 15. Come on, put your hands together. <laughs> This bout proudly brought to you by Def Tech. The bout was stopped by your referee Steve Yarpit in a time of one minute and 33 seconds into the second round. And your winner by way of TKO, the Samurai, Tristan Picton.